Ah, I stride. On stride, dominate. Dominate your rear guard. Counter blast one. Activate Rin. Dominate two cards from your hand. Mujin Lord. Dominate all your rear guards. Mukuro. Dominate your vanguards. I am done with this domination shenanigans. I'm going to the standard format where none of this exists. Incorrect. <laughs> you thought you can get away from me? <laughs> dominate your format. I can also dominate a format itself, like standard. <laughs> What's up, amigos? Today is the day that we get the reveals for Shurane and the Domination support in Standard. And so I'm going to cover some of the cards that were revealed and also like my thoughts behind it too. Keep in mind, these are the first set of cards that were revealed. There will be more cards next week as well. So let's get right into it. Check out Dueling Guard's deck boxes, playmats, and binders. The great quality products that are anime based. They continually have more anime options becoming available. Use the affiliated link in the description for a 5% discount on your next purchase. So the first retrain that we saw is actually the perfect guard. And I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it would be Kurane, which is one from the Nubatama that counter charges. Um, that have fantastic arc. And so I thought that would be the same card that they would use. But it looks like they ended up using the Domination PG that we got back in like GBT 11, GBT uh 12 so on days ago and it has the same skill where if you have two or more you discard a card but if you don't then you don't have to discard a card for the perfect card effect we have our boy modoy back <laughs> uh in the standard format so we have this starter in premium v and now in standard as well so this is the name is actually important for the grade one that we're going to see and so for the first grade one of the right line is suisu if that's how you pronounce it but when this card is placed on modoy you can draw a card and get the oboro crest but real quickly we can see the art fantastic art so that's what okay so what does the crest actually do and that's where we get into it you can perform stride and you cannot write a grade three or greater units without the demon self dragon shirinui in their card names more on that later the original power of your grade threes with demons dragon shirinui and the card names become 13k including the heart card so whenever you stride you'll get the 13k benefit to plus from there so your strides are going to be 28k during your turn, you have a grade three or greater with its uh, same name. All of your front rows get power plus 5k for each cards of your G zone. Dominated units do not get the power increase. So more on that after this. During your turn, all of you, the units that you dominate and all of the opponent's units that are placed this turn with your card abilities lose all of the continuous and auto effects and get power plus 5k. A lot is happening with this crest. And the biggest question is, how are they going to handle the domination mechanic? Because in the late G era, it did get out of hand. It did get to the point where people wanted to ban. People just got tired of it. Uh, it's very power. It's a very powerful mechanic, right? And so a couple of things that they did. The power increase that you get is only for your front rear guard units. They do not include the dominated units. So those dominated units will not scale up. And this will be a problem moving forward if they keep printing out more strides, especially if they dominate a bunch of rear guards. Um, that would just make it unfair, especially in standard, because like the shield value is not there for standard just yet. Um, in premium, you can use this and all of a sudden that all, everything that you dominate will have this plus 5k, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about playing certain cards to help with power or just have to like get shut down by a trigger if you dominate during the main phase, especially if you do the on strike dominate. Um, but that's really nice that they gave it plus 5k uh, when you just dominate stuff. Although the caveat is that they, they lose the abilities, whether it be continuous or auto. And the auto abilities were the ones that caused the biggest headaches in Giera. And so I made a FAQ cheat sheet, especially since, since Shirinori slash Domination came back with History Collection in Premium. I, I decided to revamp that. Thanks again to the new Batama group and then also people from the, like, the judges as well that have helped verify this document too. So shout out to them. Um, this was not self-made <laughs> whatsoever at all. I'm just a messenger. Um, but really, like the headaches was like if this auto ability triggered with, like, let's say, like the TikTok or like Melum and then you got Ghost Shift from Grand Blue, like all these questions would just like arise and just cause like a lot of headaches. Um, so they just get rid of that. Period. Case closed. Also, one of the things that I, I want, wanted to see with the crest is give power to your own rear guards. If you have noticed playing Nubatama, you notice that your rear guards don't do much. They don't get as big as a beater per se. And so you're trying to make numbers while you're dominating too. And if as soon as they get a trigger, 
it's kind of like the old aqua force problem as soon as they get a trigger it's just kind of like eh, lackluster um so just having where they continuously give 5k plus to your rear guards that's going to help scale up for those rear guards being useful to still attack and just to zoom close up you see the crest over here nice nice very nice so the next retrain finally uh genkai and so when this unit is run upon by demon stuff dragon shirinui you may call this card to regard circle if you do so charge one choose up to one unit card from your opponent's drop zone and your opponent calls that card to regard this is big uh especially in standard too because you're doing the right line mechanic you're discarding cards and so you're always technically going to have a target unless the opponent decides to write a card every single time from their hand <laughs> which most cases they're not because <laughs> a lot of their deck is built around the right line at that point too so you're going to have something to call and it has a regard scope that's actually pretty useful and when you when your dominated unit attacks you can kind of blast one and the attacking unit gets power plus 10k until the end of the battle and then this unit gets boost until the end of the turn so with dominated units too especially if they hit like a trigger or you just want to hit hard as much as possible too so having the plus 10k as an option with a cb1 is actually not bad and so if you have like excess cb you can use this skill to hit harder um, I wouldn't say you can spam this because you will run out of counter blast unless we have counter charging somewhere with this um, new support. Unless you play other counter charging options in Dragon Empire too, but uh, more than likely you're going to have a lot of domination support and other cards that can just help multi attack like Esperiata, especially it's going to get the plus 5k. So um, just be mindful of the CB is all I'm saying. But it's still an appreciated option where you can just give 10k to any dominated unit. And that's how that looks. Then Shirinori Arboro is still the same Shirinori Arboro. Right face skill calls something from their drop uh, onto their rear guard circle. The other one's the break stride skill on stride dominate gives something plus 4k as well and dominated and attack any other unit. You could attack rear guards, you could attack vanguards, it's totally up to you, but it's the same card. What's also cool if you're a new Batama player like myself that have cards in premium, um, you can use those same cards. Uh, especially if you did the history collection alternate art, you can still play that bad boy too. <laughs> I'm excited for that. <laughs> so the last card is Mangan Tembu, which is our basically our first stride, ideally. And so dominate, it's an act. Count of last one, turn a card face up in your G zone. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, dominate it a stand, attack your opponent's other unit with it, and at the end of the battle, retire the dominated unit. So this Mangan Tembu is very similar to the original one uh, from G era. The only difference is that this doesn't necessarily give power to the dominated unit. Um, so you have to rely on the crest given plus 5k, your Aboro given plus 4k, so that unit more than likely is going to have plus 9k total. Um, and depending on what unit they have, like it's a 10k shield, uh, which is appreciated still, but like as soon as they get a trigger, this might hurt you. So I wonder like if there's any other cards that help with that uh, besides the the grade 2 that gives, you know, uh, 10k for a kind of last 2. But there's always options. So it was interesting that they kind of like took an aspect from Mangan Tembu and just put it on the crest. But then the crest only gives the power to your rear guards and not dominated units. So <laughs> interesting setup. Um, you can flip anything face up in the G zone. So this might be a one of in premium uh, as an option too. I know that I've always considered this card in premium because like it's kind of like that one first stride that you just need to do if, if nothing else is there. Um, it doesn't come up as often anymore, but it was something always in the forefront of my head too, but it was always like flip a copy. So then that would take two slots versus just a one slot. So that's actually pretty nice that they just generic flip. And the other aspect about this is that it retires the dominated unit at the end of the battle too. So it's a way to not only get an attack extra, but you get to retire something from their field too. So you get to use their problem card and get rid of it, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And so those for, they're not familiar how dominate works. Uh, they actually break it down pretty simple, and I think in standard, it's a lot more uh, simplistic, especially since there's no auto and continuous abilities in the mix now. And so essentially, as soon as you stride with Boros Break Stride Scout, you immediately uh, attack with a dominated unit. And so on attack, you can also res resolve check chimes for other like auto abilities too, and that's how the grade 2 works, that it gets, you know, CB1 give plus 10k for the dominated unit. Uh, so the timing is there, but it's just a little breakdown for those that aren't as familiar or a reminder for those that haven't seen Dominate in a while. They also added a Q&A. So if you wanted to go back, like questions and answers. So when a dominated unit attacks, can I guard? Yes, you can per normal as usual. Um, what does the Dominate state end? So they say that the state ends immediately after the attack made by dominated unit ends. Um, I wish there was a little clarification because in premium, the way the domination works 
is that if the unit is still able to attack, it'll attack again, still dominate it. So the wording is where as long as the unit can no longer attack and there's no longer any dominated units attacking, the domination state ends at that point too. So the wording could be a little bit improved um, unless you're keeping it very simple where it just doesn't come up where you have to worry about like a bunch of units being dominated at the same time or maybe down the line they'll just add to it. So I, I just want to point that out and keep that in mind. The unit cannot intercept until it is no longer dominated. So essentially it's not really your unit technically uh, that you're the controller. You're the owner but not the controller or the master. Um, so the dominator player can use it to attack with, but you can't use it to intercept with. So then that's where it comes up. This implies that you can have multiple dominated units, um, if they were intentional about this ruling. So more than likely we are going to see units dominated at the same time, more than likely in the future. Another useful, well, another useful one is if I dominate an opponent's back row regard, can it still attack? Yes, it can. It can attack any unit as per stated by the ability to. If you're still confused about the domination like mechanic, I will link the wiki domination link as well. And also like the FEQ, uh, yeah, the FEQ cheat sheet too, if you want to take a look at that, but that applies more to premium aspect. Um, but if you do look forward to like putting like some premium effort with this deck as well, since it's technically getting support too, you're more than happy to as well. So then next week they're going to do more reveals and it's going to be the original Stealth Dragon Shirinui, and also the Katarugutsune, which is the grade three top five, grade three searcher uh, slash stride fodder from G era, and then two new Stealth Dragon cards. So I'm like, oh, okay. So completely new cards. I'm interested in what they are too as well. And they're saying that do bear in mind that Stealth Dragon Shirinui is not cover under the crest effect as it, did not, as it does not have Demon Stealth Dragon Shirinui in its card name. So they wanted to point that out where you can't just ride also the OG and still be good under the crest. And essentially you have to be on a Boro at this point in time moving forward as well. I'll wrap up with the video with my thoughts more on the crest and about the whole domination mechanic. So with the crest, uh, I think the biggest question is that there's fear behind the domination aspect because it did get out of hand in Giera and they wanted to see how Bushiroad would tame this, kind of like how they did with Messiah's Lock um, in that sense too. And I think this is a fair trade-off they got rid of the continuous and auto ability, so it kind of gets rid of the like the headaches with that ruling too as well. They made sure that the power plus five and you know that stacks over time isn't applied to the dominated units because at that point those units will get so big that at that point your opponent just straight out loses. It's not even fair at that point, uh, which I agree at that point too. And it does open up the door for premium as well uh, because like you can use strides like Jakku Mesu, which enable multi attack. So you can benefit from the crest itself in a way. So you can get five attacks easily. Um, but that's with like Shirinui deck. So you can't use this like on a Hanzo deck, for example, that, you know, has Hanzo's popping out and getting like potentially the benefit. Not to mention that it's only the front row regards too. So if you have any back row attackers, which you do have access to in Ubutama Premium and V, um, believe it or not. Um, but they made sure that the front units were the only ones that got the power. So only really two of your units and your Vanguard are getting the power up. Um, there's no swapping in Nubatama to my knowledge right now at this point too. So there's no like swapping where the next unit will get benefit. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. Overall, I'm pretty excited for this. It's pretty cool to finally see the effects and also see them like just being retraining standard too. Um, there's still more cards to be support, uh, showing up and revealing with their skills. So more than likely we're going to at least see four more cards. I wonder if they're including the other stride in that number or is it an addition to? I'd be great if it was an addition to. Just having more options is better at that point. And uh, there's definitely applications for both standard and premium as well. And so let me know in the thoughts if you're excited for it. Uh, you know, what are some ideas that you're thinking about premium or maybe for standard? I know like people were talking about like pick up your Esperiatas with like the booster that calls it. Um, so because you have the crest, you might as well take advantage of the power up, <laughs> the scales, Esperiata is going to hit hard every single turn, basically at that point, um, things of that. So let me know in the thoughts, what you think, or let me know in the comments, what you think too. And again, if you want to support the channel, use the affiliate links and also check, check out Dueling Guards accessories as well for better swag as well. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching on Medify too. And if you want to get better, I, I like sure know your domination or Nubatama in general, I could definitely help with that as well, especially in premium. On to the next one, amigos. Bye.